Lordy, my twin flame called me, Ethel. I don't give a shit about that. Call me when you got something important to say. This is not a universe of exclusion. It is a universe of inclusion. Inclusion is interior. And that's where you find your twin flame. Piece by piece, you have to bring this knowing into your heart that you are not separate from them. That's how you become a vibrational match to them and what's already yours. You know, not, not just your twin flame, but your abundance, your relationships, your uh, friendships, all of those things. The universe can only work in one of two ways. Either from the inside manifesting outward or the outside manifesting inward. And trying to bring the outside in is not the way. You have to bring the inside out by expressing it through your thoughts and feelings and by removing any blocks to that expression. Negative thoughts and negative feelings originate from within, always. And when expressed, create that reality. The same is true for positive thoughts and feelings. They originate from within and when expressed, create that reality. So you can understand what reality you're creating by what you're thinking and feeling. That is the path. You know, that's the way. And anyone that continues to... Um, try and get their twin by doing all of these things outside of themselves uh, knows that it's not working you know knows it's frustrating knows it's not having the results that they were hoping for you know they're they're on the verge of giving up you know they're proving that it's not the way because it's just it's just not working so you may be asking, like, when? When is it going to happen for me? When do I get this? I've been on this journey for like 38,000 years. But that's just being impatient. It's being needy and separate. And that's not the way. The way is to find peace in this place. Always peace. Find what matters. And what matters is not whether you're in union right now or whether you're speaking with your twin flame or whether you're hanging out or whether you're living together. You know, those are all very nice things. But what matters is, do you feel in love right now? Not in a forced way, but are you in love? Not just with your twin, but with with your life you know your job is finding peace in in every step of the way and if something doesn't feel good to you you do your inner work to resolve it now you don't leave any bad feelings that come up unattended you handle them now you find peace there now you don't leave any bad feelings that come up unattended, allowing yourself to continue to feel bad without doing anything to help yourself is a crime against yourself. You handle them now. You find peace there now. That's, what, that's how you help yourself. That's how you love yourself. You know, focus in the success that's in your life and stop focusing on what doesn't appear to be there. That's focusing on lack. Universal law states what you focus on persists. So if you continue to focus on what's not there, you will continue to experience those things not being there. It's very simple. If, you, if you're focusing outside of yourself at your twin flame not being right next to you or speaking with you in some way or whatever, 
you will continue to feel separate from them. If you focus within yourself, where your twin flame actually is, is one within you, and you feel them there, you know, you feel like as, as though you're one with them, then you will not feel separate from them. You'll feel as though you already have them because you do. Right? Notice how I, how I keep saying feel. This is all about how you feel. Your relationship to something is determined by how you feel about it. Feel bad about your twin? You probably don't have a good relationship then there. Feel really good about them? Then it's evidence that your, your relationship is that, that something of a strong relationship or getting stronger or whatever. But you don't just, you know, do that for five minutes and like poof, a genie pops out and hands them to you. It's a process. Consciously realizing that you are not separate from your twin flame in any way is a process. That process will take as long as it needs to until you complete that process. You want it to be quick, then you must be vigilant about doing your inner work, healing your upsets. If you want it to be slow and drawn out and painful, then don't do inner work. And there you go. But it's up to you. That choice is yours. However, if you're doing the inner work, then you don't have anything to complain about because you're working through your journey and you know that it's a process and you know that you'll get there. But if you're not, then you shouldn't be allowed to complain about anything because you're choosing not to help yourself and that's on you. You know, certainly not on your twin flame or anyone else for that matter. There's no one uh, to blame if you're, if you're choosing not to work through this process, not to work through your journey. Um, you know, so if you want help, click the links down below in the description box or visit asoneguidance.com directly and reach out to me. And I'll see you next time.